what time it is. It's your girl, Life of Pinky, period. And I am back again with another reading for my Aqua gang, my Aqua babies. How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? How y'all being? I know I keep going ghost on y'all. I am so sorry. My apologies, baby. I just be having to, y'all know, y'all know. I don't even have to explain to y'all no more. I feel like y'all get it. And I love y'all and y'all love me. And we gonna keep rocking. Because we a family, period, Aquas. So, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. We about to find out what's going on with my Aquas. What is the current energy surrounding my Aquas? Oh. Okay, so somebody has dropped the ball, y'all. That's what I just heard when I dropped them cards. Somebody done dropped the ball. Um, Somebody is all over the place. I feel like they don't really have it all together or they they act like they got it all together but they really don't or if somebody has dropped the ball when it comes to you I feel like they don't let you down drop the ball I keep hearing somebody drop the ball this could be with you just in general first maybe you stop doing something or maybe you drop the ball on something or you feel like you drop the ball on something you feel like something is at a standstill or something. Everything is falling apart right now, Aquarius. Yeah, Eva Queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. So, yeah, the number two could be of significance. We got Spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. Ironically, y'all, I was just singing um, right before I sat down to do this reading. My daughter was like, sing what you was just singing. I literally just made up some, some shit and was just singing it. She was like, sing. And I was like, no, no, no. So... <laughs> Don't be afraid to sing, Aquarius. Don't be afraid to share your voice. Spaceship, you could be like out of this world or you're uh, out of this world person or out of this world singer, period. You're just out of the world. Out of this world. Don't be afraid to share your voice or share your weirdness with the world, honey. Spirit, what other messages do we have for the Aquarius? Somebody around you is being very evil or I feel like they're trying to trick you into thinking that they're sugar when really they're salt. If you catch my drift. You a little salty. Okay. Ain't shit sweet about you. Evil ass. Spirit, what the messages do we have for the Aquarius? Somebody definitely dropped the ball when it comes to you, Aquarius. We got Clover release your guilt so you could be holding on to something the number two again or the number three could be of significance we got universe we are all just stardust and then we got witch justice is coming so whoever tried to serve you salt on a platter baby you gonna get your justice facts and at the bottom of the deck bitch fire stand up for yourself occurs it's time to stand up for yourself all that bullshit that's coming towards you it's 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 a test and i feel like it's up to you to stand up for yourself in order to pass that test aquarius they're telling me to go over here to the kipper deck but i'm not feeling kipper let's do moonology yeah it's time to stand up for yourself aquarius start a fire if you got to create a movement i don't know it's definitely time to stand up for yourself aquarius Release your guilt. Release the energy that you're holding on to. The, any negative energy or any, you know, harmful, toxic energies. Release your guilt, Aquarius. There's something you feel guilty about or maybe someone around you feels guilty about something. I feel like release your guilt so you can call in your clover, your, your good luck, Aquarius. Spirit, what the messages do we have for the Aquas? 444 four, four on the timestamp. This card just flew across the world. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. So you can be done with a Gemini. These are twins. It looks like twins on this card and twins on this card as well. The Gemini are twins. So you can be done with a twin or an evil twin. It's definitely evil queen. Like somebody that's like your alter ego. Maybe. Or it could just be, you know, an evil twin. Or somebody that looks like you but they're the evil version of you. I don't know. Emotions are running high, Aquarius. Super moon. So yeah, there's a lot of emotions when it comes to this connection or when it comes to this energy. There's a lot of emotions involved or there's just emotions involved, period. But I feel like you're going to get your justice. Somebody is really upset that they couldn't stop your shine or, or 
put you in like a bind or like a pause. Take control of your own narrative, Aquarius. Number four could be of significance. Um, conclusions are within reach. So there are conclusions. I feel like once you release this guilt and let go, you know, conclusions are going to be made or there are going to be conclusions that, that are going to be found out. And the communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So we got full moon in Gemini and we got new moon in Gemini. Something about twins here or a twin or your Gemini twin or I don't, I don't know. Aquas be bold and make the first move cardinal moon your hard work is paying off new moon in capricorn and we got nothing will come of this situation board of course moon so i feel like yeah let this shit go holding on to this baggage nothing good will come of it let this shit go aquas okay let it go baby nothing good will come of it hold on y'all all right Sorry about that. And at the bottom of the deck, we got a time for healing. So right now, it's time for you to start healing, Aquarius. Release that energy that you're holding on to and just heal right now. It's time for you to heal. I feel like let go of anything that's holding you back or holding on or that you're holding on to. It's time to release it, Aquas. Let's pull some... African goddess, and then we're gonna get up out of here. Spirit, which goddess is coming through for my aquas at this time? Which goddess is coming through for my aquas? Which goddess is coming through for my aquas? I feel like somebody here is also upset or or pissed off that you're deciding to stand up for yourself or that you're standing up for yourself. You could have possibly cut somebody off or ended some shit. Could have been with a Gemini, Capricorn. Could have been any sign. I just feel like you just cut some shit off. And you stand up for yourself and they don't like that shit. Number seven could be of significance. Number four. Number nine. Number three. Number two. Somebody's birthday could be February 16th. I don't know. Spirit, what the messages do we have? Which goddess is coming through for my aquas at this time? Which goddess is speaking to my aquas? Okay, because she just knocked down all the quads. We got a tet worthiness. You are worthy, Aquarius. We got Sakuya scarcity so i feel like you feel like there's a lack of something or you feel like you're lacking something. Again, the number five, the number three, 21 or 14, the number five again, or the number 32. Mama Jumbo, shine. Yeah, yo, shine fucking with they energy, Aquarius. Definitely. And Mau Lisa, cosmic power. Yeah, you've tapped into some power that you can't even explain. You probably don't even understand this power that you've tapped into, Aquarius. And this this light, this this shine that's coming off of you. These goddesses are coming through to let you know, like, baby, you're shining. Look at how beautiful she is in this car. Look at all of the, you know, beautiful things surrounding her. She's I feel like it's it's there's there's not a lack of anything in this card is what it's given it's like abundance her cups are being poured for her you know what I mean you're worthy Aquarius so you can let go of the feeling that you you know lack something or you feel like you're lacking something there's two women in this card as well <laughs> It's like the sun and the moon. And then here again, we got the sun and the moon. So yeah, something about the cosmic powers of the cosmic universe. The universe has something to do with what, what plan you're on now or the path that you're on now. We got Sashay at the bottom of the deck. Grounding. It's definitely time to get some grounding, Aquarius. Or it's definitely time to ground yourself at this time. Sashay is coming through to let you know that, you know, you need to get reconnected or back connected with Earth, Mother Nature. You need to reconnect yourself, reground yourself, regroup, Aquarius. I've been doing a lot of grounding. Um... As well, just walking outside barefoot or just being outside, period, in general. Just definitely reconnecting with the earth. Um, so, yeah, Mama DeJumble is definitely reconnecting here with the earth. Or, or it's given that you need to reconnect. Maybe I feel like you're lost in the universe. Or you feel like you lost, you're lost. you lost in like another vortex or something. I don't know, Aquarius. I don't know, but it's definitely time to heal, ground yourself, stand up for yourself, Aquarius. Don't let nobody keep walking all over you or don't let nobody play on your motherfucking top. And that's on period, okay?
I'm going to leave it there, babies. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for, you know, being patient with me. Thank you for sharing this energy with me. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next reading. Honey, peace, love, and light. Peace out, kings and queens. Y'all, I just had to come back and say this real quick. Because when I looked over here um, at the other um, Believing Your Own Magic, where they go, this card was over there. Expectations, the number three again. Um, 21 12 or 12 and 21 backwards but it says expectations don't seek anyone's approval Aquarius I feel like you don't need anyone's approval or you don't need to meet anyone's expectations but your own you don't need to seek approval or answers from anyone else on your path or on your you know journey you can definitely find your own or light your own path light your own way Aquarius you don't have to seek anyone's approval if they don't like it the hell with them we don't give a fuck Okay, period. And I'll leave it there, you guys. I just wanted to come back and drop that little tidbit on there. So, yeah, definitely the only expectations that you need to meet or exceed are your own. Okay, period. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.